could select a house for you ourselves, but as all of this was our idea, perhaps we should leave this decision to you. You are something of a special case, after all. So I can join any house I want? Yes, you have simply to name it. So you wish to join Dimitri's Blue Lions. Are you certain? Yep, that's the one. I'm sure of it. May you build wonderful and lasting friendships in your new house. Well then, with that taken care of, it's time to decide which of us will supervise which house. Yes, it turns out we just underwent a last-minute roster change. I guess you two haven't met. This is Professor Yuritsa, our weapons instructor. Hello. I can already tell I'm gonna learn a lot from you. Will you now? Do my ears deceive me? Or is that curiosity I hear in your voice, Professor Yuritsa? I thought all the houses were the same to you. Perhaps you should be in charge of our new student's house, hmm? I don't care. You decide. Well, you'll certainly hear no objections from me. Professor Manuel, you and I can take charge of the remaining houses. What? It's decided already? I was at least expecting a fight. Maybe some hair pulling? And as for you, my mysterious new student, I look forward to getting to know you much, much better throughout the year. The gall of these people making decisions for you. It's enough to make one's head spin. Uh, right. In any case, I'm looking forward to learning from you, Professor Yuritsa. I'll inform you of our first mission soon. Sorry, what mission? Oh, did we fail to mention that? Each month, every house in the Academy is given a mission entailing some form of service to the Church. Professor Yuritsa told me the good news. Welcome to the Blue Lion House. I'm excited for us to learn and grow together. But for now, please, make yourself at home. Our whole house has been buzzing since we heard you were getting assigned here. So we're going to treat you to a welcome feast tonight. <laughs> Assuming you're okay with the fancy offerings at the dining hall, that is. On behalf of the Blue Lions, can I just say we are honored to have such a lovely young woman join our ranks? I mean that. And I can't think of a better way to get to know each other than gathering around the table for a meal. Enough chatter. You're a mercenary, right? How's your swordsmanship? You must have some skill if the boar here give you passing marks. But I won't know for sure until we cross blades at the training grounds. I'll see you there, before dinner. That's no way to talk, Felix. You are being rude. Still, I must admit I'm curious as well. Rumor has it you're quite the exceptional fighter. I'm happy to spar with any of you. Frankly, this brings me right back to my old Merc buddies. Trade blows if you must, but please try not to injure each other. The training grounds can be a little tough to find. Oh, why don't I show you the way later? Trust me, I'm speaking from experience. One wrong turn and you're up in the library staring down the tallest stack of books you've ever seen. Yes, this is the largest monastery in Fodlan, so it's easy to get lost if you let your mind wander. If you struggle to settle in, say so. You helped His Highness. We are in your debt. Remember your mission? We are to stamp out what's left of the Iron King's Thieves. If I may, Professor, it seems a bit challenging for a first mission. But their leader, Costas, has already been dealt with. If the Professor thinks us capable of mopping up the rest, I trust his judgment. Good. Prepare yourself. Of course, Professor. Oh, he's gone. Professor Yuritsa isn't much of a talker. Or easy to talk to, for that matter. I'm certain you'll get used to him. He may be a touch curt, but he's not a bad person at heart. Still, bandit hunting right out of the gate? This is quite the mission. 
After the events in the mountains, I hesitate to put His Highness in further danger. You worry too much to do. Besides, we have a trustworthy new ally coming with us. I've given bandits a dirt nap before, and I'll do it again. Huh, well, I'm convinced. Whatever the case, we should be doubly prepared. And we'll be counting on our mercenary friend here to assist us. I won't let you down. There you are, Yuritsa. I have word from the knights. It is time? Yes. The bandits have fled north into the canyon bordering Count Rose land in the kingdom. But the knights have cut off their escape, and now stand ready to provide whatever support the students may require. We'll leave at once. I needn't remind you this is the first real battle for some of our charges. I trust you will keep them safe. Though I likely do not need to worry with an old hand like you at their side. No, you don't. You there. It's time for the mission. Gather the others. About time we saw some action. Lost sight of them? Ashamed to admit it, but yes. It's possible someone magicked the bandits away. But why go to that kind of trouble for a handful of highwaymen scum? So be it. We'll follow the blood scent. Right, of course. We'll follow... Wait, what? We're leaving. Everyone, follow me! Professor Yuritsa, where are you going? Well, he must have deduced where the bandits are. We should keep pace. Pathetic. Professor, it does not seem wise to charge ahead without... Hmm? What's this? From the look of it, they're bandits. Or they were. Dead by my hand. Oh. Wait, so are these the bad guys we were after? Most likely. I caught them trying to escape to that fortress. Interesting. That must be their stronghold. In that case, we'd better clean the place out before they harm the nearby villages. They've got their tails between their legs now, so this should be easy. Let's go. Whoa there. Doesn't this whole fortress thing raise red flags for anyone else? I agree. If this is their stronghold, why are there no signs of life? It could be a trap to lure us in. We'll be heroes if we manage to take out an entire bandit outpost. This is the kind of stuff I live for. I wouldn't go that far, but I agree we need to investigate, especially if something seems off. The decision is not ours to make. That's right. We're still on a mission after all. It's up to Professor Yuritsa. And I say, enter the fortress. Dispatch any bandits you find. But isn't it dangerous for us to go by ourselves? There can't be more than a handful. You should have no issue if need be, I will intervene. You sound confident, but I've still got a bad feeling about this. Brace for the worst. No guts, no glory, am I right? Should things go awry, Your Highness, stay behind me. If things go awry, I will fall back. And I expect the rest of you to do the same. I'm more than ready for this fortress. Let's see if it's ready for me. If the Professor's with us, I'm certain we'll be fine. Then it's settled. Stay vigilant, everyone. We'll put the bandits to rout. Follow me! Huh? Hey! We got intruders! Here comes whoever they are. Looks like story. we'll have to fight our way out of this. I've awaited this moment. Take a breather. Well, that was something. Moving on. I shall take the lead. I made it. So this is what real battle is like. Take a breather. Out of the way. I'm not letting 
when you passed here. My oh, life depends on it. Now we know who to kill to open the gate. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. I tried to stop them. <laughs> Let's secure the interior. My turn. This place is bigger than I thought. Split up. I pray they find peace in the game. Take a breather. I shall take the lead. This mission has gotten out of hand. I suppose this isn't exactly a trap. I still don't know what to expect from where. I'll cover you. A treasure chest. We'll need to find the key. I can get it open without one if you want. I'm not exactly proud of that skill, but... It was already... I'll do my best. Let's move. I need to grab a nice haul from that chest. And now those intruders are all over the thing. My turn. I know who has the key. I've awaited this moment. It's an old structure, but very well built. These ruffians are lucky to have such a perfect hideout. There. We've taken control of the fortress. Now, let us have a look around. Search the basement. Something is amiss. There's a prisoner down here. And she looks like an academy student? Are you here to rescue me? Are you all right? What are you doing here? Never mind. We can discuss that later. Thank you for saving me. Don't let the girl escape, or Kranya will make us wish we were dead. It's not safe here. We must take the girl take and run. They're after the girl. Well, we shook this hornet's nest, so it's on us to keep her safe. My turn. I've awaited this moment. I'll cover you. Let's go. Now's our chance to give him the slip. More bandits that eluded us. Leave none alive. More are coming. These are no mere bandits. Take a breather. That should do it. Hurry. I'll take the lead. My turn. Good. That's the last of them. I shall take the lead. Okay. 
We should be safe here. I mean, I hope we are at least. All right. Who came in here and trashed my beautiful stronghold? Hi there. I'm Kranya. But you can just call me the lady that's about to murder you. Or, you know, don't. It's her. So be it. Herman! Kill her. Stand your ground. <laughs> You asked for it. Release the creature we captured. This moment. Some sort of beast. Get ready, everyone. We have to take it down. Lend me your strength. Are you ready? Yes, understood. Stand down! Attack in force. You'll never defeat it alone. All the numbers in the world won't save you. This is going to be a long fight. It's strength, Bates. Don't let up. They defeated a demonic beast? Impossible! Tallis isn't going to like this at all. You'll pay for this. You'll all pay. These names are wholly unfamiliar to me. But at least we won the day. We should be safe here for the time being. I'm well acquainted with Professor Yuritsa, but the rest of you are this year's Blue Lions, I presume? That's correct. But if I may, how did you come to be wearing our uniform? Also, how do you know Professor Yuritsa? Were you enrolled at the Officers' Academy? She's one of last year's students. A Black Eagle. That would make you our senior, but... What are you doing in a place like this? Well... I was just on the verge of graduation last year when I was kidnapped by the strangest people. In truth, I thought I'd never breathe fresh air again. Thank you for coming when you did. Oh, where are my manners? I'm Monica Von Ox, eldest daughter of the Empire's Baron Ox. Hmm, yes. I think I understand. This all began when the Knights lost sight of the bandits and you gave chase. Afterward, you entered a suspicious fortress and rescued a missing student. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. I'll be sure to smooth things over for you once we're back. Sounds good. But, uh, why are you even here, Alois? Because the Knights sent for help after you left them behind. Did you expect anything different? Not that I'm trying to lay blame at your feet. I know you were following Professor Yuritsa's lead, so I think everyone involved can head home knowing they did just swell. For as you know, all swell that ends swell. Ugh. Still, I find this a rather grave turn of events. To think the same bandits who attacked our charges were behind another student's abduction. Hmm? I never said I was kidnapped by bandits. You... You didn't? We saw others in the fortress. People who were clearly not bandits. This is just a thought. But what if they were the ones truly in charge, and the bandits mere pawns? Yeah, there was one real piece of work. Kranya, I think, who managed to escape. I've seen all kinds of people as a mercenary, and she was definitely not your everyday bandit. You're on the right path. Perhaps I should just tell you who kidnapped me, seeing as I already know. What? Why didn't you mention this earlier? Everyone was busy speculating, so it was difficult to cut in. What do you know, child? Out with it. Well, the one who kidnapped me was Tomas the Librarian. I'm certain of it. I could tell from his gait, and how he held his staff. I suppose he isn't the simple scholar you think he is. Tomas? 
Impossible. But Tomas has been at Garrick Mark even longer than I have. I don't want to believe it, but based on what you say, we've no choice but to investigate. But Sir Alois... Be on guard. If Tomas is in league with Kranya, he is dangerous. Very well. I will quietly report the matter to Lady Rhea and leave the decision in her hands. Not a word of this to anyone. Is that clear? Well, now things are getting interesting. Honestly, did not see this coming. So what do you make of this Kranya? Why do you think she was at the fortress? You seemed preoccupied with her during the battle. Is she a friend of yours? Sadly, I wouldn't know. My memory is but a shadow at this point. Gone! Vanished! Lost! I remember meeting you, but before that, nothing at all. And yet, the moment I saw her, I was struck with the most inexplicable feeling. I couldn't tell you if it was revulsion or affection. It was simply pure emotion. And here I thought I had it tough. Are you worried about me? How adorable! Oh, but I do love that about you. And so, the knights have been ordered to apprehend Tomas. As it happens, he's been absent from Garrick Mark for the last several days. They are using this opportunity to prepare quietly, and intend to seize him upon his return. Hard to believe someone within the monastery was working against us. It's shocking, yes, but we have testimony from the very person he abducted. Not to mention all the other evidence they found. No surprise they want to bring the guy in. This could be our only chance to find out about his co-conspirators. So who is this Tomas guy anyway? You say he works in the library? He used to help me track down all manner of obscure books. I always thought he was just a kind old man. Tomas is the last person I picture as a murderous kidnapper. I asked around, and it seems he's been in his current position for over 40 years. Why he'd choose to lash out at the church now is beyond me. Maybe his feelings aren't new. There could have been troubling signs for a while that we aren't aware of. Even if that's true, what is the point of kidnapping a student? A ransom, maybe? The kidnapped student is from an Imperial house. Or maybe he wants to tarnish the church's reputation. Wow, look at you reasoning things out. Your new friends must be rubbing off on you. Your Highness, did this man hire the bandits that attacked you in the mountains? That's what I'm told, but I've yet to confirm it. There is evidence that seems to link them. I don't know about you, but I'm going to feel a lot less safe after this. You're not alone. Rumors are flying around the monastery about who else might be a traitor. You'd think the church would do a better job vetting the people they employ. Maybe it's not so easy to... Hey, do you hear that? Something's happening outside. Are they ready at the gates? Yes, sir. Every exit is covered. Well, well. It sounds like Tomas has returned. I don't know why I know this, but you need to get out there, and quickly. Wait, where are you? Of course. Tomas. There he is! Hmm? <laughs> that man down there. Lady Rhea wants to speak with you. I suggest you accept. Hmm. This doddering persona of mine will benefit me no further. What is this? <laughs> for mere vermin. You will pay for this. Find him! Right! And what he did was just like... Prologue. Crisis in Ferdiad. Upon his return to Garrig Mach, 
the humble Tomas shapeshifts and flees, and not even the Knights of Ceres's most concerted efforts can track down the erstwhile librarian. Dimitri elects to keep an eye on events from afar and not involve himself in the disturbance. Soon, however, an urgent message arrives from Ferdiad, capital of the Kingdom of Fargus. Well, that was certainly an unexpected conclusion to the whole Tomas saga. Thanks to his shapeshifting ability, he slipped free of the knights and escaped. Shapeshifting. Yes, that's what I said. Also, I know what you want to say next. His powers are just like the ones you gave me. His powers are just like the ones you gave me. Are you in league with him, Arval? Where did these powers come from? If I am in league with him, no one has informed me. All I have is you, my dear partner in destiny. Still, I saw what you saw. Clearly, we don't have a monopoly on shapeshifting. And now that everyone knows about Tomas, some of them must have connected the dots back to me. At least they've had the grace to keep it to themselves. It's because they trust you. Hold on, someone's coming. Ah, uh, there you are. Something wrong? No, I... I simply wanted to check in after the unsettling events of the other day. Well, it's not like I'm a quivering wreck or anything, but... It's gonna make my life a lot harder if my powers end up being evil. Hmm, perhaps. And yet... Hmm... How do I put this? Power is neutral. The good or evil of it comes from the one who wields it. For example, I possess extreme strength, and I've always believed this gift was bestowed upon me so that I might protect others. And you used your power to save us, which means it cannot possibly be evil. Didn't mean to fish for sympathy there, but, well, thanks. My apologies if I overstepped. I've been looking all over for you, Prince Dimitri. Her Grace the Archbishop is asking for you. She requests that you come to the audience chamber immediately. Duke Fraldarius has arrived for a visit. Rodrigue is here? I'm on my way. Let us continue this discussion later. Hold on. What did you say? I've only just heard the news, so I'm a bit hazy on the finer points. But it seems my uncle has seized control of the capital and declared war on House Fraldarius. All signs point to him wanting to stamp the line out entirely. That's Felix's family, right? They're one of the kingdom's leading houses. What does the royal family gain from eliminating them? I'd wager it has to do with House Fraldarius supporting my claim to the throne. The bigger question is why the Grand Duke chose to launch an offensive now of all times. Whatever the reason, he must have decided to act before His Highness's coronation could take place. My uncle claims House Fraldarius is attempting to install me as their puppet. As such, he issued a written appeal to the Western Lords to help him Rescue me from the Duke's foul clutches, as he puts it. In what cruel world would our noble house take the reins of a boar like you? <sighs> Don't ask me, it's his pretext. So what exactly is going on in the capital? You said it's been seized. Oh dear. I do hope nobody there has been met with foul play. He's in no position to engage such a move until I've been removed from the situation. I say the Regent should be dealt with. I haven't heard one good thing about his leadership. I've no intention of becoming a pawn in this game. All the same, I must return to Fargus at once. Dudu, you will accompany me. As you wish, your highness. Felix, I'm sure your father will contact you soon. For now, just wait for Rodrigue to weigh in. Uh... Ash? Sorry, it's just that Lenato used to be in the Grand Duke's service, so... He is a man of compassion. It's not out of the question he'll be swayed to my uncle's side. Truth be told, we're not sure where anyone's allegiances lie at this point. So let's not hasten to conclusions, any of us. We must all keep level heads. I'm told you are sending the knights to help us, Lady Rhea. I do not wish to sound ungrateful, but are you sure you want to do that? The Church of Seros cannot overlook this grievance. 
Regrettably, many of our knights were dispatched elsewhere several days ago on another matter. However, while we may lack numbers, we have put together a unit of considerable skill. It will be captained by someone near and dear to you, in fact. Someone well suited to a mission within the kingdom. Someone near to... Ah, oh, of course. That is encouraging. Since its very inception, we have watched over the kingdom of Fargus as one would their own child. When its peace is threatened, the Church has no choice but to act. I have not forgotten your outpouring of aid after my father's passing four years ago. And I swear to repay that kindness in full. One other thing. A suggestion, if you will, from the Church. Interesting. So she wants all of us to go with you? Yes. This time, the Knights of Seros will be accompanying us in addition to Professor Yuritsa. Well, I certainly don't mind. But Annie and Ash, what about you? You know I'm always behind you. But considering what it means for my uncle, I don't know. House Dominic's lands are surrounded by other houses that are likely to support Rufus's claim. If I join you, it could sour my family's relations with our neighbors. I'll go. I mean, of course I don't want to get Lenato into any trouble. But I also know he'd want me to do what I think is right. I'm sorry to place such a difficult decision on your shoulders, Ash. And what of you? I'm in. The more time I spend here at the Academy, the more I miss actual fighting. Besides, I want to use my powers to help. After all, the good or evil of a thing comes from the person wielding it, am I right? <laughs> Indeed it does. You have my thanks. There you go again, throwing yourself headlong into the first conflict you find. No wonder I have to keep stepping in to guide you. Still, we basically have no choice, so run wild, I guess. I'll inform you of the details soon. Please ensure you're prepared by then. You have my thanks. The Duke has stamped out most of the troops who invaded Fraldarius. As things stand, a clash on royal soil and eventually within the capital is inevitable. As you are the only blood kin I have, my lord, I pray we might find a way to resolve this conflict peacefully. Bah, what rubbish. He sings of conciliation, but I know a threat when I read it. Shouldn't you take better care of a letter from your dear nephew, my lord? He's not expecting a reply. The creature means to slay me. Your fear of Prince Dimitri runs deeper than I thought. You shouldn't have missed your chance four years ago in Dusker, or two years ago during the suppression of the Rebellion. That's twice you failed to kill him. I've learned my lesson. A lion's cub is still a lion, and one cannot slay a lion with a clumsy scheme. It's those monstrous eyes, Cornelia. They terrify me. The boy is a vicious animal. Yet he attempts to feign actual grief that we can't find common ground. The aberrance of it shakes me to my core. <laughs> I understand completely. Every night since I killed my brother, I dream a lion is ripping out my throat. You'll run yourself ragged if you live your days in fear of revenge. You were meant to rule Fargus, and you have the power to make it so. Your royal army is the finest in the realm, and if I may be so bold, you also have me. Put your worries to rest, my king. Sleep deeply and without fear. I'm so utterly tired. Tired of being afraid. Tired of what I've become. All of it. I see. And how much longer until Tallis gives the word? I know only that something is amiss in the Imperial capital. 
curse it all. I am not waiting a thousand years for that doddering old fool to act. Rally the Western Lords and their troops, and be quick about it. Have them make ready to intercept that whelp. As you command, Cleopulus. According to our scouts, the enemy has positioned their troops on the capital streets. So they can use the town's focus shields when we take the fight to them. With vulgar tactics. Well, now that we know their strategy, our next move will be critical. A victory stained with the people's blood achieves nothing. We'll need to move our forces swiftly, but with caution. To do, has there been a reply from my uncle? Nothing of yet. Hmm, I thought not. Your Highness, will you truly be able to strike Rufus down when the time comes? I will do what is required of me. Preparations are complete, Your Highness. The people are waiting for you, Dimitri. Let's not keep them any longer. <sighs> no, we'd best not. You're our commander, but you look like you're heading for a funeral. Could you maybe try not being so insufferable? Apologies for my demeanor. I have more than a few things on my mind. But very well. Let's begin our final war council. You look pale. Not keen on fighting your own blood? Sadly, I saw this fight coming long ago. Then what's the problem? Now that I've brought the fight to the streets of the capital, I wonder if my actions are right. Most of the people here favor keeping the royal line of succession. That's because my father and the kings before him maintained peace inside these walls. But ever since my uncle seized power, the people have been forced to endure his licentious reign. Did you know they asked me to assume the throne before my time at the academy? They said only a true king could undo Rufus's misrule. So why didn't you? Because it would have divided the kingdom. Just as it's doing now. Yet had I supported my uncle's claim, it would have been open rebellion. And the only way to prevent such a rebellion is to invade the capital and kill the regent. In other words, I cannot restore my grandfather's peace without first breaking it. In that case, there's no reason to hesitate. You know fighting is the only answer here. You just have to accept it. <sighs> my apologies. I have a bad habit of agonizing over such things. And as all of you have come this far to help me, the least I can do is make an attempt at optimism. As we feared, the soldiers are using the town's focus shields. What cowards! Our first priority is to secure the people's safety. You got my back? Understood. Can wait. We'll start by eliminating guards on the capital perimeter. Commence the attack. This will go faster if we split into two groups. I'll handle the stand down. <laughs> perimeter is secure. Things should be easier now that we know our backs are safe. Open the gates and seize the town. I Are you sure no harm comes to the people? to go. Ferdiat is large. We should divide and conquer. Hey, are the front gates still closed off? We should probably open them up so we can get reinforcements in here, yeah? A fine idea. And if things go awry, we might need another way out. Well, he's about it. Clearly, that apple did not fall far from the tree. We think they would involve innocent people. We must end this battle as soon as we can. Is this really the best the officers of Etha can offer? Disappointing. Yeah! 
Open the gates. Sorry, Your Highness. Stole your thunder there. Your Highness, you're all right. Some nights we were. We should have never let it come to this. Do not blame yourselves. However, you seek to make amends. Lend me your strength and help me reclaim the capital. Forgive me, I've my lord. This moment. <sighs> I see our enemy is somewhat competent. <gasps> Deal with this, Viscount Clyman. <gasps> Worry not, Cornelia. We will save Prince Dimitri from that vile puppeteer who controls my him. Turn. I shall take the lead. <laughs> Let's do this! <laughs> to take care of those soldiers before we're boxed in. I suggest we again divide our soldiers to deal with the multiple threats, Your Highness. I've awaited this moment. My turn. Out of the way! Please, Your Highness, you must see reason. We are only doing our duty. Take him into custody. I have a lot of questions for him. At once, Your Highness. Shall we? Let's give it a shot. I'll do my best. Let's be fine. This is just sad. Can we please moment. hurry and get this battle over with? You called? So you know mercy. The town should be safe for the time being. Let's press on to the castle. How do we breach the castle with the drawbridges up? These people are hopelessly outnumbered. Unleash our units from the strongholds and crush them all. This could be our chance. There are controls by the castle gates that lower the drawbridges. We can do so from within the strongholds. Your Highness, the troops that escaped the castle have taken up position in the surrounding strongholds. That won't do. We must retake them at once and ensure the town is safe for good. If you're here to rescue us, Give us the honor of joining you in battle. This area is secure. Not a moment too soon, it seems. I'll do my best. Let's move. I've awaited this moment. You like that? Stand your ground. <laughs> That's the last of the strongholds. Take a breather. We should be much quieter around here from now on.
course, the main entrance is blocked. We need to find another way in. Good. Now, if we lower the other drawbridge, we'll be able to attack the enemy from both sides. We underestimated the royal wealth. Time for someone to put him in his place. Shall we? I'll pre Well done. Now to lower the drawbridge. Let's get that bridge down. Where are the controls? Now that we have access to both the east and west bridges, it's time to breach the capital, corner the traitors, and strike them down! My, this is your lucky day. I've decided that you deserve my personal attention. You truly are whimsical. Will today mark my death or his? Either way, this boss will finally come to a close. I won't let anyone near this stronghold. Got this. <laughs> oh, why the long faces? Does our hospitality displease you so? Every moment I stare at you vexes me more. You should have died that day. And yet today, death comes for you, Cornelia. Take that! Enemy down! Great! Let's keep it up! Oh, you poor dears. I've never seen so many deluded fools in one place. So, it's come to this at last. Well if you want my head, then come claim it! I intend to, Uncle. I'll cover you! Our pride as knights! We will defend our needs to the last! I had long hoped for the day we might finally see eye to eye. Foolish years. A man and a monster can never go to common purpose. Find that man and take him away. You little beasts. None of this would be happening if not for that old man Tuttle. Stay down. Getting wrapped up in my fun again. But sadly, I must bid you farewell. She's slippery, that one. Your Highness, we are moving Rufus to a cell and preparing him for questioning. Good, thank you. I will join you shortly. Raise your voices with me, friends. You fought hard this day, and now victory is ours! Something you feel like saying? No. All traitors get put to the sword.
It's his duty as king. Final words? None for you. But tell me something, boy. Does it trouble you to slay your own kin? <clears throat> what a surprise. I did not think you capable of sympathy, craven monster that you are. Yes. But either way, I do what I must. Well, to perish by your hand. It is a fate that I much deserve. Which leads the lords Elidor, Mateus, and Clyman. We believe they, as well as many powerful Western lords, were accomplices in the assassination of the late king. Along with the Grand Duke, they seem to have received large sums of money and supplies from the Imperial nobility. Thinking this to be recompense for the assassination in Dusker, we investigated the link further. In 1171, the mage Cornelia arranged for a certain powerful Imperial family to come to the kingdom. That's the year when my step-uncle, Lord Arundel, brought Edelgard here in exile. Correct. We think Lord Arundel and his followers were behind the matter. They have deep ties to the Imperial household. As I suspected. You're a clever man, Margrave Gautier. Well done. Thank you, Your Highness. If we continue bringing information out of them at this pace, we'll soon have a clear picture of what transpired. My uncle's attendants must also confess to the slaughter in Dusker. But now that things have come this far, we can't expect the Western Lords to stay silent. We need a way to keep them far from power. Oh, there are always ways, provided you're willing to keep all your options open. Yes, I suppose so. Let us speak more of this later. For now, spread word of what you have found to every palace and pub in the land. That should help keep the Lords in check. Is that wise, Your Highness? If we announce that Rufus was involved in the tragedy of Dusker... I will not feed my people half-truths. They deserve to know. I've always admired that candor, Your Highness. Yet such news is sure to create a degree of unrest in the Kingdom. So you suggest we bury the truth? Should it somehow come to light, the people's faith in me will be forever shaken. If the kingdom is ever to part ways with our bloody past, this is the path we must walk. Fine words, though I doubt they'll appease the people of Dusker, nor the rest of Fargus, many of whom will not be so quick to forgive. Ha! <laughs> we thought you might say as much, which is why His Highness and I have devised a solution. I will resign the title of Duke and pass it to my heir. Spare me, Rodrigue. One person with wild ideas is already one too many. It's not wild at all, Matthias. Someone must bear responsibility for what happened in Dusker. People will naturally seek to point the finger at His Highness, and we need him unsullied if he is to lead. Someone has to get down in the mud and bear the slings and arrows for him. Who better for such a task than me? Rodrigue will abandon his title and work with Dudu to restore harmony between our people. I'm not asking him to take his life. Rather, he offered to spend it to set things to rights. In that case, we've only to deal with the issue of the throne. I believe we should move forward with your coronation straight away. I agree. My time at the Officers' Academy was a valuable experience. But I belong here now. Obviously, Felix won't be able to return either. Have him come to me later, so I can deliver the news and an apology. I've already had a word and told him what must be done. You've no need to apologize. <sighs> yes, I have. As for you, Gustav, you'll also be staying here in the kingdom. But I abandoned my homeland. There can be no place for me in Fargus. I will make a place for you. I need your help. Lady Rhea will understand. It... it would be my great honor, Your Highness. Send word to the Church and the Lords. Count Galatea will be in charge of contacting the South. 
Now, there's another topic I'd like to discuss. I wish to reorganize my army. Since I have you all assembled, I'd like to hear your suggestions. You still working, Dimitri? Have you even slept since the battle? <laughs> Never mind that. There's a favor I've been meaning to ask of you. It won't happen right away, but I'm considering the formation of a new private army. I need someone to captain them, and I was hoping it might be you. And what does the leader of the kingdom need with a private army? I fear my uncle may have rubbed off on too many of my knights. I'm not saying they're all bad, but it's clear as day that bribery ran rampant. To rectify the matter, I'm looking into a complete reorganization of the army. These next several years will be an age of civil war, and I want to be surrounded with the best and most loyal soldiers I can find. Well, that does sound interesting. Still, I'm just a regular old grunt. Why put me in charge? Because this will be an army of commoners, not knights and nobles. A mercenary like you is far more likely to earn their trust than some stuffy noble who's never known a day of hardship. Please, allow me to be clear. This is not an order. If you'd rather return to the Academy, you're free to do so. Are you kidding? I'm in. Thank you, Dimitri. Having put down Rufus's revolt and ended his uncle's life, Dimitri draws closer to the truth regarding the tragedy of Dusker and also begins the process of ascending the throne. All the while, the Adrestian Empire deals with a fierce power struggle in its capital, Anbar, while the Leicester Alliance finds themselves pitted against an invading Olmyran horde. Realizing the troubles of Fodlin will fall squarely on her young student's shoulders, Archbishop Rhea closes the Officers' Academy and permits her charges to return home. <laughs>